All right, Valerie, we're getting set for your fight. You will be taking on Vivian Pereira on Saturday night at UFC 206. Uh, tell us a bit about Friday and the weight cut. Was this one of the more challenging days of your career? It's No, it's not even that. I just felt like we've missed of time. That's just... I would have kept going, I would have kept cutting my weight, and uh, I felt like I, I could have made 115. It's just, we had to show up at 11, and then I was just, you know, stuck with the time, and I don't know if we just didn't calculate well our time, but I just slept five hours, I just woke up and tried to cut what I have left. It's not because I quit or I decided that I was not gonna make weight, I just keep cutting my weight until uh, we had no choice to go for the weigh-in, so. When you were offered uh, the fight for this date, did you try to make a case to the UFC of fighting at 125 pounds? Because it seems awfully difficult that there's such a giant discrepancy in the two weight classes. And especially you're, you're for women, especially for women. But not, no, I know it was not an option. I mean, I've been told, and they offered me to fight at 135. So I gotta say that they offered me to fight at 135. It's just that's pretty much the way, the, the weight I walk at now. I go maximum to 140. I know these girls, how much they, how they walk at, makes no sense to me. I'm not that big. The gap between maybe 140 and 115 doesn't seem that big, but when you already have not much of fat, it's a, it's, it's a big gap for women. So it's not because I'm you know, not taking this seriously or I'm starting to gain weight between fights. I, I, just, I, I, just, I stay as lean as I can, but it's... It's big of a gap between 135. I think a lot of people out there sympathize with your case. And for the men, it's 10-pound differences. At most, 15. For you, you're talking about 20-pound weight difference. And I just think with all the research that's done, the health issues, it's just it's irresponsible not to have that weight class, I think, in this day and age. And you're a perfect example of that. I, I really hope it's going to come before I retire. And I don't feel like I'm going to fight for a very long time left. I'm 33, soon 34. And... There's other things I want to do in my life. I love fighting, but this is really turning me off because all the focus is on trying to make weight, and I feel like it's unfair even for me to fight at 135. I'm not going to go there and be the dummy for the 135, so I'm just going to retire and go home and do something else. This is the way I'm thinking. I'm really doing my best to make the best 115. I swear I'm thinking this so seriously. My weight cut, I'm trying to work with other people. I've been working with a doctor for this one, but... I would have made it. Seriously, give me another, another, an hour and a half or two, I would have been at 115. What, what was your team telling you at the end? Because they had to be very concerned as you're saying you want to keep going, you want to cut that weight. We kept, we kept going. There's no quit in me at all. They know. I was yelling at him even like, I didn't want to stop, even take pause in between the sauna or whatever we were doing. Because I feel like we didn't have enough time. Um, but there's a maximum that you can lose. And at the end, your body does You can spend 40 minutes in a sauna and you lose 0.4. 40 minutes. Can you imagine when you have 12 pounds to drop? How much time? The, the beginning is easy, but the, the more, the closer you get from the weight, the less your body release. So that takes a certain amount of time. And I just, I think we just didn't calculate our things properly. I start as soon as I finished my media yesterday. We start right there at the hotel, and then I slept five hours. Went back at it, and I didn't make it. Now that you've had a few hours to recover, how are you feeling? Has the weight cut impacted you? How are you feeling now? I don't feel it's gonna affect me more or less. Uh, I still dehydrate so much to to go to even if it's one pound and a half over uh, but I feel a lot better than this morning already and um, we're just gonna you know my job is to put this behind me there's nothing else I can do about it and put on a show tomorrow so that's what we're gonna do I really hope you have good news and they look at this uh, coming out of this uh, this incident and we wish you all the best going into UFC 206 Saturday night